You could be any sign here, but especially an air and a fire sign. You guys move each other regardless. And you guys, he is hoping for this love and this wish fulfillment with you. The top of the deck is the judgment card. So, you know, I do believe that if there's any shadow of a doubt, the divine is going to help the divine masculine along. Every time we see some type of weakened here, you know, he has, he still knows what he has to do. And we just got to keep hoping. And the divine feminine is at the bottom and the judgment is at the top. It's like, you know, the, the journey is not only the divine masculine's fault for not reaching you, for not have reached for not have reaching you already, uh, Divine Feminine. We have to look at ourselves as well. You know, we did, okay, the world card is here. You know what I mean? We have to look at ourselves. When the cycle is complete, it's because, you know, the multiple or the couple of people both did their job. So, but with this two of wands, when he's looking elsewhere and he is in a relationship or he had been in a relationship where he was bound to someone, his wish fulfillment is to heal Okay, from that and to open up the gates to new pure love with the divine feminine. He feels about you like you are his wish come true. You were the one knitted for him from the beginning. Okay, let's clarify this four of swords and see exactly what he's thinking and what his plans are before he retreats, before he leaves. Okay, whatever he decides to do. Why is the four of swords here for the divine masculine? Okay, what do we have here is the three of cups. Okay, the three of cups. I want to say for some of us, you know, this divine masculine could have multiple baby moms. This divine masculine could have kids and he's, you know, kind of involved with multiple people. And if he has no kids with any of these people, this divine masculine could definitely be involved with just random women who mean a great deal to him. But regardless, he's thinking about how he's going to end this third party. He's thinking about who he can trust. He's thinking about... um you know, the, the, there's a significant three, but, but women around him, there's women or there's men around him. I really do believe that this means eliminating because of the swords are cutting down. There's three swords cutting down on top of that three of cups. He's looking at cutting out third parties. His wish fulfillment is to be in a partnership with you, divine feminine. There's no reason he's going to be going through all of this work and all of this self doubt and pity. And even just like, hardships where he's feeling like he's knocked down to do nothing he's thinking at home how he's going to make this actually just look the judgment cards at the bottom there's going to be light shed upon this and he doesn't care he wants to he wants to kill off all of that third party the three swords are poking down ex exactly at this three of cups here okay exactly it's starting to rain He's going to stab those cups and they're going to fall out. You know, if there was any water in it, any love left from anybody that they had for him, he's going to cut that out. And he's decided and he's under he's trying to do that quietly, I presume. But, um, you know, and he's also trying to think about who he can trust. I think there's people around him who are his friends. He may have female friends or whichever the um, the hermit here. You know, he's trying to go it alone and see exactly how he can do this. I think he really needs some help here. Yeah. And then we have the king of wands, people who can help him succeed and get the hell out of this house. Okay. So that's exactly what that three of cups is about. Okay. Seeing who he can trust, who he can help. He can't, he feels like he cannot do this alone. Okay. Even with the two of pentacles here where he's juggling and trying to figure out life and, you know, be a reliable man and a man of his word. This five of swords is in reverse. So it also means that, you know, there's been trouble with friends in the past and there is and people that he may or may not can trust. Do you understand that? He needs to see who he can trust in these times right now. So tell me about the seven of cups for the divine masculine. Tell me about the seven of cups. Tell me about the seven of cups. Woo. So we have the knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles in reverse, you guys. The knight of pentacles. Okay. It doesn't look like um, money is going to be an issue here. But it, I mean, more so like money is not going to be something that gets in the way. Look, the king of cups is at the top of the deck. He's looking through love. He's looking in an aspect of love for a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if you're watching, yes, he's looking to really be with you. And not just about the fickle the fickle matters of money. The, you know, no money of the heart, matters of the heart. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if you're watching, he is going to rid of a, a earth 
earth sign or vice versa. If you are the earth sign, he's going to look for you, but he's not going to make money the priority in which he pursues you, okay? Because we know that that's why sometimes we've lost or we felt insecure divine feminines because the divine masculine was seeking something from someone else that we couldn't or could, you know, provide or what have you. But so the Knight of Pentacles also in reverse is talking about how he he may be even giving up any um, of his dreams of money or like stability or more so um, his dreams of a job, his dream job. He could be giving up. He's definitely going to be sacrificing money. So money, as this seven of cups uh, signifies, more money, more power, right? He's not going to fail here, okay? Where he's going to choose more money and then fuck up then. No, he's like, nope, that's not going to get me this time, okay? Let's see what else we got for that Seven of Cups. So that's good. That's assuring uh, Divine Feminine, okay? Tell me more about the Seven of Cups for the Divine Masculine. What do we got here? The King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This guy is going to make sure that he comes out on top. This is a businessman. This is some, this is that the King of Swords is a business man. He is the town, excuse me, the town's tax collector. I mean, people come to him for advice and business and money. This guy is pretty straightforward. This guy, though, you know, he's, he's, um, he's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So the way that they think of love and the way that they convey emotion is nothing like a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or even a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nevertheless, the, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, the money aspect is in reverse, that physical, um, being the physical ambient but this king of swords is going to make sure that he comes from an aspect yes a business aspect but a um a straightforward aspect i really understand that he does not want to mess this up okay i really understand that he feels like this is like do or die like this is the last thing he can do or you know what i mean and it's like that this is his wish fulfillment you know for love you can you know what i'm saying if he's gonna turn down options and, and, and different ideas that can make him successful even on his own. You know what I'm saying? He's going to make sure that he's going to come equipped. Okay, so he may not be coming in for the money aspect, but he's got his own money. He's got his own mindset, his own business mentality that he's learned from before. And he's going to make sure that um, through love and through this idea, he's going to be the perfect man. I believe that. He has this head on his shoulders where he's like, yo, I'm in this to win it. It's like, it's like, the man of your dreams finally like, I love you, Shari, you know, like, you know, bending down on his knee. Like, but I feel like he's someone of, it's it's also romantic because of what I mean by the man of my dreams is like, you know, he's someone who's like, everybody would love Brad. Everybody wants Brad. You know what I mean? Everybody wants Brad. And it's finally like, you get to have him. And you know what he's doing? He's the one going to propose. You know, he's the one going to go the great lengths of being the man for you, even though he may be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, even though he may not be so uh, savvy in the love department. Okay. But the, with the quick, with the King of swords and the seven of cups, it says that, you know, he's a businessman entirely. He's not just looking for more money, more power. He's already got that. He's already a King of swords. He is the King of the business field. So he's already know what that's like. He don't need to ask for that. He's already like, okay, look, man, I know what I want. And it's love with this lady, with this woman in blue. We saw the high priestess and this is my wish fulfillment. I don't need no more money, no more power. I'm already the king of swords. I am money. I am power. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. And we got the page of swords at the bottom. He's coming in correct. So we open up to the page of wands. This is someone, this is an Aries Leo Sagittarius. So Aries Leo Sag, if you want that water sign or they want you. Okay. So with this page of wands, what do you have at the top of the deck is the king of cups still. Okay, he's coming in strong. But um, as far as the page of wands goes, you know, Aries Leo Sagittarius ambition, you know, you know, you don't have to say that this person isn't serious. We know that he is here. So we get to put this this page of wands in a very adult aspect, even though he may be only 23, 24 in this card kind of mindset. He's someone who knows what he's got to do and he's going to go do it. You know what I'm saying? That's three of wands now. We got the two of wands before and now we got the three of wands. So this is somebody who's looking for long-term goals and success, who 
who may come in with some sort of baggage. You know, I mean, from this start, you kind of look at him like, okay, where are you coming from? You're trying to grow something off of Mars and this guy's going to do it. You know, but I do believe he feels like there's been a lot of people around him who've tried to tell him otherwise and, oh yeah, your relationship with the Divine Feminine or so-and-so Sarah or Nicolette isn't going to work. You know what I mean? But you know what? We He's like, yeah, of course it's going to work because I'm here and I'm actually on Mars or I'm here. I'm, I'm about to do this. You know, I'm a businessman. I'm not no petty knight looking for money. You know what I mean? I already know that I'm going to cut off all the extra girls that have been around my way. I know what I want. I know it's a little... I know... I know that I, I'm in a relationship or something like that, but my my goal is to be happy, is to heal, is to be in love with the person who was made for me. I know I got a lot going on, I know, but I can handle it at the end of the day. And and then God forbid anybody's coming my way trying to take my strength away. Let's go ahead and get one card for those two cards in reverse, that five of swords and that strength card in reverse. We got that five of wands. I do believe that's infliction coming from the, the, the divine feminine, actually. I do believe the divine feminine, the empress here, okay? That could also be from the karmic partner, but I do believe that... Um, um, so there are people around him trying to suppress him. Look, we have the Ten of Cups, but it's not going to work, okay? But I do believe, Divine Feminine, watch your tone, watch your tongue, and be be, um, be gracious. Look, we have the Nine of Wands now, so it's like, you know, we could feel defeated. He could feel defeated. There's a lot of insecurities that could come about here. Divine Feminine, keep going after what you need to go for. The Divine Masculine wants to do his thing. The only thing I'm worried about is when he feels like he has a lot of tasks on his shoulder, he's going to, like revert to feeling weak and you know people are going to easily be able to come in there and kind of feed off of him and divine feminines we were in that devil energy so i just want to kind of you know tell us something real quick and it's going to be like you know go ahead and shed some light go ahead and take some solitude get humble you know about what you need to do the empress is back here so that could be you using your gifts for evil you know what i'm saying uh, you know your beauty and if he like picks you and chooses you the the spread ends off with the seven of cups and he's gonna choose you divine feminine so our spread started off with the seven of cups so I just want to say once the talisman has been passed on to us and we take it what are we gonna do with it we still always want to be somebody that the divine masculine admires whether he tells us that or not so you know I want to end off with the star card and the lovers card so the divine masculine is safe to say that he wants to work hard for us and right now he's in the he's in the runnings of becoming okay he's working hard and then we end off with the ace of cups so he's going to be giving us something he's going to be speaking to us and divine feminines i'd say have an open ear okay thanks so much for watching bye